Guitar in five with Zipporah. Shalom, chaverim, and welcome at long last to episode two of Guitar in Five with Zipporah. That's me. I'm a professional musician and guitar teacher, and this short video series is great for any beginner students out there just picking up the guitar for the first time and looking for a few tips and tricks to help themselves get started. In today's episode, we're going to talk all about posture. So if you're ready, grab a seat and let's get started. There are just a couple of caveats that I want to mention for a minute before I show you the posture. One is that I trained as a classical guitarist, and while I don't really play classical music anymore, that's still how I hold my guitar a vast majority of the time, because that's what I'm used to. If you're exploring another genre of music, like percussive fingerstyle, metal, maybe non-Western methods of guitar playing, there might need to be some adjustments to your posture so that you can pull off those techniques successfully. In addition, I also understand that for some people, sitting up in the posture that I'm about to show you for an extended period of time might not necessarily be accessible, especially if you are chronically ill or if you're disabled. So I'll go over the base posture first and then talk about some adjustments that you can make to make this work for you. Remember, everybody's body is different, everybody's needs are going to be different, and I don't want you to get too bogged down with trying to have textbook perfect posture. What's more important is that you find a posture that is accessible to you and is going to help you pull off the techniques that you will need in order to be successful without injuring yourself in the long run. Think of these not as rules etched in stone, but more as general guidelines. Okay, so here's how I'm holding my guitar. I'm sitting with uh, my body pretty much at the front edge of my seat. My feet are about shoulder width apart. They can you know, maybe come a little bit wider than that. And my left foot is propped up on a footstool. If you don't have a footstool, you can use some blocks, you can use uh, a stack of books, that also works fine. But we're, what we're looking for is a 90 degree bend in the left leg like this. And that's so the bottom curve of your guitar here has something to rest on. So what I'm doing is I'm placing the body of my guitar in between my two legs. This bottom curve here is touching my left leg at this inside part. And then the other side here is touching my, the inside part of my right leg. I'm also holding it a little bit slanted like this. And that top curve is hitting my body at about the center of my chest. So, um, if you were to look at me from the side, I know maybe it's kind of hard to see, but you would see that my body is making a triangle with my instrument. So my instrument's the diagonal here, and then my body are the other two sides. Um, you'll notice that the neck is also a little bit closer to my face than if I were to hold it sideways like this. And this is for two reasons. One, I can see what I'm doing a little bit better because the fretboard's closer to where I can see it. And two, it keeps the left wrist nice and straight. So I'm not bending it at any weird angles that over a long period of time could potentially cause a repetitive stress injury. My right arm's coming over the body, somewhere in between the crease of my elbow and my wrist, and my wrist is staying nice and elevated so that my fingers have a lot of space in order to follow through after plucking. One way you can check this is if you can fit your entire other arm underneath your right arm, then you're at a good height. Now again, this is one of those things that depending on the genre of music that you're playing, uh, you might not necessarily follow this rule super strictly, especially like if you're playing percussive finger style, but this is just the general basic 
posture. Now let's say you're somebody who this posture doesn't work for, it's not accessible to you to be able to hold over an extended period of time. Let's say you need your feet flat on the ground for the sake of your back. A couple of things that you can do is get a guitar cushion or frame and these are devices that nestle on this inside part of your left leg here and prop the guitar up at that same angle that you would have if your leg was on a footstool but without needing to hold that leg up. Um, and that allows you again to keep your feet flat on the ground while still maintaining this nice diagonal with your instrument. Um, let's say that the issue is being able to sit up straight with no back support. So if you look at me right now, um, I'm on the edge of my chair. What you can do is you can sit a little bit further back and find a chair where the back is really, really straight and have your back be pressing right up against it for some extra support. And if those options aren't available to you either, you can also think about getting a guitar that has little um, strap nubby things, I don't remember what they're called, um, in order to hook a strap onto. And you know, like, like electric guitars have these, and some acoustic guitars have these too. And you're able, whether you're standing up like this or sitting down, you're able to um, have your guitar still at this slant here so that the neck is close enough where you can see it and where you're not bending your wrist at funny angles. Um, but instead your guitar might be hanging a little bit closer to the right side of your body. So those are a few of your options if you need some alternatives. That's all for today, Haverim. I hope that this short guitar posture tutorial was helpful for some people. If you like what you see and you'd like to see more content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you never miss a beat. If you want to support my work as both a teacher and as a performing artist, head over to my Patreon. I'll have the link for that in my description below. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sipora Music. Toda for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yalla bye!